four years of fooling around while you're trying to figure things out is exactly the kind of experience you need to do a job like this. You need to be able to think outside of the books as well. And I think that's one thing a lot of people overlook. The year is 1992 and veteran artist Brian Collin along with veteran programmer Jeff Nauman create Game Refuge Incorporated. With famous titles such as Arch Rivals, Rampage and Xenophobe, Electronic Arts sought out the two to publish Project General Chaos. A real-time strategy game with squad-based tactics, fast-paced action, and wallops to the groin. In-game, you'll have five classes to choose from. The launcher fires powerful rockets, which may cause instant death to any poor son of a bitch in his way. The next one I'm pretty sure is Chuck Norris, and I'm not trying to be all 2005 about this, but I mean, look at him. His, his name's Chucker, for God's sake. The Chucker's strength is that he lobs grenades constantly, keeping people on their toes, being able to hit multiple targets at a time. Gunner unit's nice for spraying people down with automatic fire. Run and gun, suppressive fire is your thing, use your man. This next unit seems to share a special love for sadism, much like the Chucker as seen from his smile. With no regard for his personal being, Jeff Goldblum runs into the battlefield headfirst to turn everyone into a human candle. And this, 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 this regurgitated sack of shit is the blaster. To give you an idea of how much he sucks, here is a metaphor. You, you have a better chance of getting a perfect score on the SATs with a white crayon than killing someone with a blaster. Aside from the blaster, this game has one big drawback to it, and that's this. Single player sucks. I mean, I don't know about you, but me personally, I can't do this with just three buttons and a d-pad. Hell, I would prefer to have a little tyke's keyboard. Functionally, this has eight buttons. Of course, this is a limitation of the console. On PC, this would have 106 keys and a mouse. The problem is trying to use a controller to micromanage. It's like using the N64 controller to play StarCraft. This game is ideal for multiplayer. Everybody controlling one to two units makes everything so much more manageable. This extra control comes with the price of having to sacrifice one unit. Or you could look at it this way. Now you don't have a blaster on your team. I've gone through the history and how the game works, but you're probably asking yourself right now, why the hell should I play this game? Well, let's consult our old friend, Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky. Right or wrong, it is very pleasant to destroy things from time to time. I think our friend Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Palo Juan de Pumuceno Maria de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Ruiz y Picasso has something to say on the matter too. The urge to destroy is also a creative urge. Why not take your old friend's advice and get creative? has an arcade type of feel, which means it doesn't take very long to finish it. You push your way through skirmishes until you reach the Viserian capital and take it over, or until they reach your capital and take it over. The game has built-in replayability in that if you win, you get the option to continue again with more difficult AI. This stops at the third cycle and means you officially beat General Havoc. One thing I noticed from this 5 versus 5 format, there's a few games that came out later that I think may have been inspired by General Chaos. Dota 2 and League of Legends were inspired from Warcraft 3 mods, but what inspired those Warcraft 3 mods? Specialized characters, 5 versus 5 skirmish, all while trying to gain territory until you take down your enemy's base of operation. That sounds like a multiplayer battle arena to me. On a final note, almost 20 years later, CEO Brian Collin of Game Refuge went to Kickstarter to do General Chaos 2, Sons of Chaos. The Kickstarter got well under its goal of 125000 only making about 12% of that. Despite this, the folks over at Game Refuge still promised to deliver General Chaos 2, Sons of Chaos, 
even if it may take just a little longer.